Attention, in these experiments hazardous compounds are used. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the replication of these experiments. Lime scale. It is found in bathrooms and kitchens, coffee makers and water kettles, so everywhere where water is used. To remove it acidic detergents are often used or plain vinegar. Lime scale is made of calcium carbonate which reacts with an acid to form a soluble calcium salt and carbon dioxide. This leads to the question how the insoluble calcium carbonate came into the water and how lime scale is formed. To show this an apparatus which was made of a three neck round bottom flask and a pressure equalizing dropping funnel was used to prepare CO2 gas. The gas was passed through a hose and a glass tube. In the flask were 15 grams of sodium carbonate and in the funnel 49 milliliters of 10% hydrochloric acid. The glass tube was placed in a beaker and the beaker filled with about 50 milliliters of a saturated calcium hydroxide solution. Then the hydrochloric acid was added to the sodium carbonate. This caused sodium chloride, water and CO2 to form. After the air had been pushed out of the apparatus and the CO2 got into the solution, a precipitate of insoluble calcium carbonate was formed immediately. That's why calcium hydroxide solution is also called lime water and used to test for CO2 gas. When more CO2 is added to the suspension, a part of the calcium carbonate dissolves again. It reacts with the CO2 to form soluble calcium bicarbonate. This also happens in nature where limestone goes into solution. When it precipitates again it can cause stalactite caves to form. When the evolution of gas is over the tube has to be removed or the solution is sucked into the apparatus. Next the solution is filtered to remove the undissolved calcium carbonate. Then some of the solution was added to a beaker and heated to a boil. Due to the heating the gaseous CO2 is removed from the equilibrium moving it to the left and causing the calcium carbonate to precipitate again. This reaction also works with magnesium ions or traces of strontium and barium ions. This is the majority of lime scale that is formed when heating water. Interestingly in some households lime scale is forming faster than in others. These water kettles are of the same type and in two households which are only 3 kilometers apart in the same city. The difference is in the concentration of the ions of the earth alkali metals. It is called water hardness. The anions are rarely taken into account because they are mostly carbonate. When the water hardness is high the formation of lime scale is faster. But this is not the only influence on our everyday life. When washing clothes or cleaning dishes the water hardness has an important role. To show it a saturated solution of hard soap and ethanol is prepared. Next two test tubes are prepared. To the first one distilled water is added and to the second one a 1% calcium chloride solution is added. This represents hard water. To the distilled water about 1 ml of the saturated soap solution is added. The test tube is closed with a stopper and shaken. As expected the solution foams. The experiment is then repeated with the hard water. The solution turns cloudy immediately. When it is shaken the whole solution becomes cloudy and does not foam. In addition to that an insoluble precipitate is formed. Soaps are usually the potassium or sodium salt of a fatty acid. With the calcium ions the insoluble calcium salts of the fatty acids are formed which are also called lime soap. Lime soaps are also the reason for the thin coating of showers and bathtubs.
To increase visibility some charcoal powder was used. Lime soap does not clean like ordinary soap and can even stick to the fibers of textiles causing them to turn grey. That's why washing detergents contain large amounts of so-called water softeners as for example zeolites. These are crystalline compounds which are able to bind the ions of earth alkali metals and prevent the formation of lime scale and lime soaps. Other water softeners form complexes with the ions to lower the hardness of the water. As an example, 30 ml of the calcium bicarbonate solution are added to a beaker. To a second beaker, 20 ml of the solution and 10 ml of a 0.1 molar EDTA solution are added. Both solutions are then heated to a boil. EDTA is the sodium salt of the ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and has been used in washing detergents as a water softener till the beginning of the 21st century. The EDTA can act as a polydentate ligand and form complexes with metal ions, so it also prevents the formation of lime scale and lime soaps. This were a few facts about lime scale. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know how the hardness of water is determined, you can watch my video here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.